um guys remember when they used to say go to school and you will enjoy the rest of your life will come to the rest of my life i mean i think the rest of my life begins now since i'm out of training articles signed up school done discharged everything uh, just left with registration and new job so i feel like i'm now in that rest of my life <laughs> anyway hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much as you know my name is not chifamba i am a c a z t b i think now it's just a matter of weeks yeah that i can use it i sit down on my floor which is recent which is i think one video ago i started sitting down on the floor but i usually sit on this couch and i talk about careers i talk about becoming a chartered accountant and just giving you guys information and taking you on my journey and just hoping that the 1.7 of you get help or get some use out of the videos i put out there now today's video is a very very happy video i needed to make that clarification given that last week's video i was sad about leaving my employer um today's video i am happy because this weekend my best friend and now my workmate we're not working together like same level at the same company well same group my best friend got a car i'll put out a video no i don't have mine yet but <laughs> my best friend got a car and oh my god i'm so happy for her i just thought i wanted to give her this shout out she got her car and which brings me to the second reason why i am happy the second reason why i'm happy is because she started a new job and rich and is about to be popping off on you guys so if you haven't been following me on instagram now is the time to follow me on instagram now let's get out get into today's video if you're a zimbabwean you know that getting a job in zimbabwe is hard i did a video on why you should be a ca and so today's video i just want to put into perspective of how easy is it to get a job as a ca of course you're going to be a different ca than i am but i'm just going to just give you my lived experience and then you do with that what you may okay um so i put out a poll on friday uh that asked you guys to send me any questions that you might have and boy oh boy <laughs> you guys had so many questions and that's what i'm just going to try and answer in this video it's just gonna be a quick um life update video i am going to put up the responses some of the responses that i got and i'm just going to answer a few questions i'm going to start with the first one where are you now working i don't know if i can discuss this on youtube but i think on my instagram and on my facebook i think i'll put the name of the company and also on my uh linkedin i'll also put the name of the company i don't know if i can say it out in a youtube video but anyway this company is a startup started just two three years ago three years ago um and the main things that they do uh that we do at this company is consultants accounting consultancy we are into it started off as a complex transactions advisory company where you come in with your complex transactions and you want to know um uh how to account for certain complex transactions and now it just evolved into becoming a company where you um, uh with your account we can do your accounting for you with a complex or non-complex we can also do um your um, complex transactions and also we are like market watch we look at exposure drafts cost and comments to exposure drafts uh we look at um 
what is happening in the market like SI stitcher instruments how can we help you how can we help your business deal with this uh, numerous uh, how can we help your business deal with those numerous teacher instruments in the environment that we are in uh, we're also looking into providing the finance function for organizations so basically i can be your fm from outside your organization like you can outsource me so basically that's where i am working now this other one says where are you working now and what post my role there i have explained where i work my role there is i am a technical manager <laughs> Sis is a manager. Um, I'm going to ignore some questions like good time primary. No, I'm not gonna say it. Uh, but yeah. Is that how you wink? Richard. <laughs> uh then um how did you make the decision to either stay or leave Zim? That one I'm not answering today. This one says were you head hunted? Which post do you now hold at your new workplace? So head hunted is um is a strong word, I think. I don't know what it means specifically with accountants because like the moment we passed the APC, I had a number of recruiting agents in my inbox. I don't consider that head hunting. But in terms of a company reaching out to me and saying we have an opening for this position, would you be interested? Yes, I was head hunted for like I think three jobs, but I did not take any of the three because they just didn't align with what I wanted to do. For this job that I am at, I am the one who decided that I wanted to go there and I was interested in going there. If you get what I mean. Um I'm the one who was who made the first move. <laughs> I might say but um yes i was head under it's just unfortunate that i was not interested in the roles that were, that were coming in um at that time um and then the other one i think the other one was way too early i couldn't leave deloitte by the study that they wanted so yeah that's another thing um and then someone says negotiating your salary coming from being underpaid Yes, I said audit firms underpay you. And there's a funny thing that happens with these recruiters, guys. These recruiters ask you for a pay slip, apparently. This is for my friend telling me. Uh, apparently, if you go to these recruiters, they say how much was your salary at your last job so that they maybe use that to determine your new job your new salary at this job i've seen i've also had those come from people who did not go through recruiters who just went into these companies they ask you about um what has been your salary there so that they determine your new salary i think it's always good to just mention it i think it was asked at some point too but i think it's very important to just tell a person that you know what my salary in an audit firm was because i was a trainee as i said in my previous video i'm a trainee and i am comfortable with that salary because i am still in training when you are in training you're basically a student so it's fine because you're getting something else but in in this time for example now i'm now a technical manager and being a technical manager um um uh, i am going to be bringing you value and I'm not interested in any training. Of course, there's continuous growth. But I'm not getting trained. You're really getting a finished product. So your muscle, your salary that you pay me is supposed to match um, the value that I'm bringing. And also, I've noticed most of these organizations, they just ask you those questions, but usually they just have a salary that they already pay for your level. And you just decide whether it's something that you can work with, it's something that you're happy with, or you can leave. Because as a chartered accountant, I think my little experience has shown me that uh, as a chartered accountant, the, the opportunities are limitless, they're endless. If you are not interested in a job, if a job is not paying you what you think you're worth, there's always the next job. Which brings me to the other point of how hard is it to... Uh, get a job as a chartered accountant i think there are not as many chartered accountants which also then uh limits the supply side so once the supply side is limited and the demand is there your value sort of goes up i think in the past couple of day past couple of years when the economy was going bonkers the salaries were going also bonkers that's why you see a lot of people were leaving but i feel like the economy is now settling all my friends that started new jobs as CAs got new cars from the from the employers i think it's something that had gone away for some time like for the past two years um so they got new car and i think their salaries are very competitive because you can see with the lifestyle inflation <laughs> that's happening thank god for lockdown these niggas can actually save money but 
uh, what I'm saying is there are so many job offers uh, for CAs. So, for example, there is a group uh, for CA alumni. If you're not in it, I would suggest you go in it if you're a CA that's looking for a job because I think there are vacancies that are always posted in that group. There's also uh, There are also some recruitment agencies now that are looking into making CAs stay in Zim. They're saying the market, the market is now, there's a lot of demand. Uh, if you want to stay, send us your CV. I know my friend who used or is using one of these recruitment agencies, local recruitment agencies. Um, I will just put the email of those guys in the description box. And if any of you guys see this video, I need my payment for this endorsement. But <laughs> yeah, I'll put it. And then there's also a LinkedIn post. So if you go on LinkedIn, I'll just put a screenshot. If you go on LinkedIn, there is a part called jobs. And you can just literally filter the, the kind of job you want. Like, do you want, uh, you can put the content and then you put location where you want a job, like Zimbabwe. And then there are a number of uh, jobs that pop up there so um i think it's really easy um when i did my video of pros and cons of becoming shutter content i said you become something that is sellable and my lived experience now that i've left the firm and now exploring my options is that it's true there are so so many options uh of uh once you become a chartered accountant i haven't seen anyone who is a ca who doesn't have a job or oh, let me rephrase who doesn't have a job that pays them well if they want to be paid well maybe it's also because the economy is the economy turning or is the economy not turning i don't know but yeah so that is my lived experience of finding a job as a ca i was really sad about leaving my old firm i don't want to lie i cried on my way home i from the from leaving the company laptop i bought myself sushi and uh and and ice cream and wine and i was just doing a pity party i was sad i was crying i'm sure there's some niggas on the road thought i was missing a heartbreak yeah my heart was broken about leaving that firm but i absolutely love my new workplace i don't want to lie i love it i love it. it's a young firm so it just feels like i'm still at the firm like they're just young people there um it's still open door policy you, in, you interrupted everyone from the driver to the group ceo you're just mingling you have lunch together you talk near us um you you discuss issues your ideas are heard you do work um that feels um impactful as well so and they also have sports and social events so <laughs> so yeah i am because my 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 new company is also a training office i training office so it's more like um that it's still a young firm so i really love it there i also love consultancy so i think that's also why i am thriving there i see myself thriving there so yeah guys um next week's video is going to be an updated cost of living because yeah am i the only one that's noticing that things went up in zoom like things are now very super expensive so next week's video is going to be um cost of living uh updated cost of living video before lifestyle inflation hits me because as a manager some things will change post the pay day <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to do um an updated cost of living because i think that one is now very much misleading because i think my rent about yeah and things just went up so yeah guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and tune in for more content coming from yours truly bye guys have a lovely evening or morning or day whatever time you're watching this video bye